Speaking of outstanding fights, another great fight in the golden era of boxing was for the world's bantamweight title. At the Polo Grounds in New York City, September 23rd, 1937. Scheduled for 15 rounds. Harry Jeffra versus Sixto Escobar. Escobar, the defending champion. That's Harry Ballor introducing the principles. Jeffra on the right. A crowd of 32,600 on hand. More than a quarter of a million dollars poured through the turnstiles. The referee is Frank Fulham. The judges are George Lecron and Charlie Lynch. Jeffra weighs 116 and a half pounds. Escobar, 117 and one quarter. Boxing history is being made at the Polo Grounds when promoter Mike Jacobs, outdoing even so daring a promoter as Tex Rickard, staged his Carnival of Champions, a card of four 15-round bouts in which three world titles were defended, and in the fourth, Marcel Thill defended his International Boxing Union title against Fred Apostoli, the New York champion, whose title was not at stake. Harry Jeffra on the right, Sixto Escobar, the champion. These are bantamweights, tremendously fast, of course. Harry Jeffra has the monogram on his trunks. He's quick and strong. In this carnival of champions, the Apostoli Phil fight was the first to be put on, starting at about 8 o'clock. Apostoli stopped Phil in the 10th round. And then Bonnie Ross, the world's welterweight champion, next successfully defended his title against Seferino Gosha on a 15 round decision. And in the third bout, Lou Ambis successfully defended his world's lightweight title against Pedro Montanez with a 15 round decision. And now it's time for the fourth bout. Sixto Escobar defending his world's bantamweight title against Harry Jeffra, scheduled for 15 rounds. That's the end of the first round. Through the first five rounds, Jeffra has been beating Escobar to the punch. He's been the aggressor and the sharper puncher. Jeffra comes out of Baltimore in Maryland. He's 22 years of age. He's five feet, five inches tall, and he weighs 116 and a half. He's managed by Heine Blaustein. Escobar comes out of Puerto Rico. He's 24 years of age. He's 5'4", weighs 117 and a quarter. He's managed in America by Lou Bree. Escobar is the sixth of eight children. Hence, he was named Sixto. Jeffra was a crack amateur, winning the Maryland State and Southern Atlantic crowns, and also appearing in New York in the Golden Gloves. These are wonderful close-up shots of Escobar in action coming towards us, and Jeffra on the left. That's the end of the sixth round. Coming into the 15th, there's little question in anyone's mind that Harry Jeffra, if he can come through this 15th, will be the new world's bantamweight champion. He's outgamed, outfought, outhustled Sixto Escobar. Escobar was a two-to-one favorite in the betting. Even in the 15th round, Jeffra looks mighty fast and strong.
Escobar is the harder hitter of the two. But he hasn't landed nearly as often as has Harry Jeffra. Jeffra still high on his toes. Still full of vitality and speed. And that's the end of the bout. A terrific 15 rounder at the polo grounds. And for the decision, as the judges jot down their cards, Harry Ballor collecting them in the background. And the winner is Harry Jeffra, the new Bantamweight champion of the world.